Hey guys, it's Neve here again. Um, today I'm actually going to be doing a haul video. Um, just a few little bits and pieces, mostly uh, beauty. Um, things that I have bought in the last four to six weeks. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, so the first thing I actually got, I went into Boots. And I was looking for a foundation for um, combination skin. Uh, but first of all, <coughs> first thing that I bought, first two things that I bought, and I got a little thing free with it, um, number seven, do little like deals and whatever. So you buy two things, and you get um, this little by here free. And there's a few little goodies in there. The first thing was the number seven instant radiance foundation um, with an SPF 15. So you can see I've used quite a lot of that. Um, yeah, so I really like that one. Um, the second thing I bought with the um, foundation was number 7 lipstick. And this is in colour Entice. And I'll show you. I was looking for one. I said to the girl, you know, I need something that's like moisturising for your lips. Um, so that is the colour. I can see that. Um, so yeah, so I got that. And also the colour of um, the foundation is Calico. Um, it's not actually on the box, but it's Calico, uh, the fairest shade in number 7. Okay, so what I actually got in this little boy here was um, a little sample size um, mascara. And that's in just in black. So it is, but it's really nice. I really like it. Um, the brushes and that I'll show you now. <coughs> but that's just like little... Um, bristles on it, they're plastic bristles, it's a little sample size moisturiser as well. Um, I haven't used this yet, but I will, I'll get around to it, um, so I got that as well. And then a little um, mini eyeshadow thing, it's really, it's a gorgeous colour, it's like a shimmery purple, I hope you can see that. Um, I have no screen that I can lock at for my camera, so... I hope you can see that. Okay, so the next thing I well, next thing I'll show you was actually a foundation that I got. Um and this one I saw how light it was and I'm actually like really, really pale. Um so this is perfect. Perfect colour. Anyway. Um it's very, very runny though. And it's kinda sticky, it leaves you really sticky. Um so still gonna try it out and little about with it, try different powders maybe or something with it. It just doesn't sit nice on the skin. Um, so I got that and that was in the colour uh, Light Porcelain. Um, see, and there's an SPF 18 in that. <coughs> Next thing I have, I actually I got three face masks and um, I got two peel off ones. And I've used one already but I have this one. And um, I think this is the cucumber one. Yeah, that's the cucumber one. And then I got the mud mask as well, the little sample size one a bit. Um then I got the mascara keeps moving. Then I got um just six or nose pore strips by Witch Hazel. Boots tea tree witch hazel. And that's actually the same as one of the moisturizers I would use like for nighttime. Um, it's the tea tree witch hazel. Well, I can't talk to do. Um, so yeah, so I got those as well, and I've used one of them. Um, so it's good. Uh, next thing I got a little nail varnish, and this is from Rimmel London, and it's the Precious Stones High Coverage Glitter Nail Polish, Diamond Dust. Um, then I got next thing I have is the Blushable Creme Stick from NYC, New York Colour. And this is in the colour Big Apple Blush. Um, so it's just the cream blush. So I have that. This one. A little closer. So that was the blush. Um, then I have my Kate Moss lipstick uh, from Room in London in 107 that I love. This is my go-to lipstick recent, recently, like, you know. Um, I haven't got it on today, but because I did, like, a golden brownie eyeshadow. 
Um, so yeah, I love that lipstick though. And the lip liner I use with that is um, <coughs> from Catrice Cosmetics. Um, it's really good makeup, but for a low price. It's a really good price. And if it, if you're like beginning out in makeup, um, check it out because it's amazing. Um, but this lip liner is in the color 080 Read My Lips. Um, so I'll just screw it up. So that is that. I hope you can see that alright. That is the lip liner that I have. Um, that I would use for the Kate Moss 107. The same day I got um, a liquid eyeliner. I started wearing liquid eyeliner. Um, I was never any good at it. So I just I didn't. I was like no I'm not going to bother wearing it. Um, but then I was like you know what. I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and try it. Um, and it, it really is like, you know, practice, practice, practice. Like anything. Um, <clears throat> so I got the liquid liner waterproof one. And this is so good. It stays on all day. It's it's amazing. I love it. And it's in colour 010. Don't leave me. And so it's just that. Just screw it up. It pops out and it's just like the felt tip pen on it. So that's that. I really like that. Um then I have um I got new eyeliner. Um I'm not impressed with it though. I, I, I have used it a couple of times and even though it says it's waterproof, it keeps running down. And I'm like, no, it's so annoying. Um but it, it, it's from Rimmel London and it's just that one with the little smudger. Like that comes off and that shouldn't. Okay. See now when I want to, yeah there we go. See that comes off and I don't like that, that it comes off so eagerly. You know you're trying to take the lid off and it ends up coming off with it. But it's just I always find with the screw eyeliners that you twist up. They're just not as good as the like the coal pencils that you just pair um, and sharpen yourself so I didn't I wasn't that impressed with that then I have my new um, eyebrow pencil and this is again from Catrice Cosmetics um, and it is 020 date with ash slash ton like Ashton but ash slash ton and um, so it's perfect color it's, it's the one I have on at the minute and um, so it's just that Probably. It's just the pairing one that you just pair yourself. Um, I don't use like shadows or anything like that um, for my eyebrows. So yeah, I just got that. I, I like the pencil. So <laughs> each to their own. Okay, so next thing I have for you is my highlighter pen. And again, this is from Catrice Cosmetics. So it's just this little one here. Um, and it's the Made to Stay highlighter pen. Um, I do like it for like above and below my brow bone um, or my cupid's bow but I don't like in, like using it here um, on my cheekbone, just above my cheekbone. I just feel like it wipes away the makeup when you're trying to blend it in. It's just like quite annoying. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that. And the next thing I got was an eyeshadow um, from Catrice. This is the last thing from Catrice. Um, but it's Plum up the jam. Five seven zero plum up the jam. And it's just like this purple with gold specks in it. And I really, really like it. I just think it's really pretty. Um so it's just that that is that. Next thing I have, and I do not like this at all. Um I should have checked the brush on this before I took it out or before I bought it because when I opened it up when I got home it, it scared me. It's huge but it is the NYC big bold curl and it just goes on very clumpy like really really clumpy at least like little flakes under your eyes yeah I didn't I didn't like it but it's just that one there um but then I have my other mascara from NYC that I love and I have on today so you know some of the cheaper brands you know it can be hit and miss with them some products could be absolutely amazing some not so amazing 
No, um, my new little thing that I love. Um, <laughs> it just oh, I it, it it's worked such wonders for my skin. I cannot believe it. And you can use it anywhere on the body that has dry little patches like your elbows, your knees. I get very dry on my cheekbone here and my forehead and just my nose here. But I went in and I was looking for like a moisturizer for like combination skin or something just to try and help the dryness but keep the oiliness down too. Um, so she was saying, well, keep using your normal moisturizer and um, use this here on the dry patches on the skin and it's from number seven and it's beautiful skin dry skin rescue for all skin types and it's like wow i don't i used to have really bad dry patches along my cheeks for like over a year and now i've used this like maybe three four maybe yeah three or four times and it's completely gone. It was gone by the second time I had used it. I am just in love with this product and it will definitely be another buy for me. Um, but like it's so thick you only need the tiniest little bit. So this there's 50 ml in this and I can just see that lasting forever. Um, <laughs> or well uh, maybe not forever that might be a bit far stretched but definitely a long time. Now the next two things are hair, hair products. And so the first one is my hair spray from Tony and Guy. And then I went and I got my hair cut and um, I was looking for something like for body and um, to give my hair a bit of body. Because my hair is so fine, um, you know, I need a little extra oomph in the hair. So I went in and she recommended, she used this product in my hair and <coughs> Um, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it because it just works amazingly and as long as you style your hair properly, blow dry and style your hair properly, it will work. Um, but it's just by Label um, Professional Hair Care Volume Mousse. Um, so it's just like a little spray but it kind of comes out like a mousse as well. It's 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 weird kind of texture but it's, oh my god, the smell of it. Like, I think the smell was what drew me to this product the most. It just, it smells like, well that's sounding weird, but like men's aftershave or something. It just smells so good. I love it. Um, but yeah, so I got that now. You can't get that in any shops. So try and like Google it, look around to see um, if any salons near you have it. Um, so that is it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, remember to subscribe for more videos. I have another one coming up on skincare. I have one on hair care as well, so be sure to check that out. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great evening. Bye.